In this class, you will learn about solids. Solids. A solid has many surfaces or faces. Different types of solids are cube, cuboid, pyramid, triangular prism, cone, cylinder, and sphere. Let us learn in detail about these solids. Today, let us learn about cube and cuboid. This is a cube. A cube has vertices. Let us see how many vertices does a cube have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. There are 8 vertices or corner in a cube. Now, let us see how many surfaces does a cube have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, there are 6 equal surfaces in a cube. In a cube, when two surfaces meet together to form an edge. Let us see how many edges are there in a cube. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 edges in a cube. An edge is formed where two surfaces meet. A cube has 6 surfaces, 12 edges, and 8 vertices. Let us see the examples. Ruby cube, dice and ice cube. This is a cuboid. A rectangular solid is called a cuboid. There are 8 vertices in a cuboid. In a cuboid, opposite surfaces are equal. That is A and A are opposite to each other. B and B are opposite to each other and C and C are opposite to each other. Therefore, opposite surfaces are equal in a cuboid. An edge is formed where two surfaces meet. There are 12 edges in a cuboid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 edges are there in a cuboid. Therefore, a cuboid has 6 surfaces, 12 edges and 8 vertices. A cuboid has 6 surfaces, 12 edges, 8 vertices. Example, box, eraser and pencil box. Difference between, between cube and cuboid. Number of surfaces in a cube is 6. Cuboid also 6. Edges in cube 12. In cuboid also we have 12. Vertices 8 in cube and 8 in cuboid. Let us see the differences. All the surfaces are equal in a cube whereas opposite surfaces are equal in a cuboid. Let us learn to draw a cube. First draw a square of equal length and draw one more square from the middle of the square and now join the vertices. So this is a cube. Now let us draw a cuboid. Draw a rectangle and see the opposite sides are equal. Draw one more rectangle of the same length and join the vertices. Now this is a cuboid. 